Uh, before we start on our redirect code, on our previous lesson, in our get URL function, we were just returning everything from the database. Uh, let's just clean this up a bit, right? In most cases, you won't want to show your ID, and there may be some values you may want to keep as visible. So let's just update our function real quick and make some changes to that. So if we open up back our get URL, we're going to keep this mostly the same. But we're just gonna before we return the value, we're just gonna extract specific fields. So let's maybe do a, a filtered items, and this will be a array. That we can now specify the values we need. So we need the short code. Now the item. We need created at item. And we're just going to specify the items and then we'll iterate over these values with a for loop created at and maybe the original URL that should be it and let's just do it for item and items All right that should allow us to iterate over these values and extract the individual key. Now in our return, instead of returning the actual items, we're going to return filtered items. And that should be it, right? So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to do a sound build and deploy. Done. Let's test this. So here we're showing ID, we're just showing everything. And in that update, we should be specify individual fields. And there we go. So this is a much, much cleaner. And again, feel free to select the fields you want, but this is just an example that I think is much cleaner.